Hello, my name is Jen and I'm from the Biomedical Engineering Department at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Today I'm going to be showing you a video tutorial on how to install and remove the flexure fixture for our Instron 5544 materials testing system. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our YouTube channel for a video tutorial explaining the different types of grips we have available for testing. There are two different bottom assemblies for the flexure fixture. Which one you use will depend on the size of your sample and each attaches to the instrument in a slightly different way. To install the smaller of the two assemblies, insert the pin connector on the bottom assembly into the lower collet, aligning the holes so that you can insert the clevis pin. Tighten the lock nut clockwise so that it is tight against the lower collet. To install the larger assembly, you will need to remove the lower collet. Remove the lower collet by removing the internal screw with a 3 16 inch hex key. Make sure not to spin the lower collet or you'll risk damaging the internal alignment pins. Place the large flexure fixture assembly on the base of the system so that it is parallel to the front edge. Line up the hole in the center with the hole in the base and insert a washer and the screw from the collet and tighten with a 3 16 inch hex wrench. Next install the upper assembly of the flexure fixture by inserting the pin connector into the upper collet. Make sure you have a firm grip on the assembly with one hand and use the other hand to insert the pin, making adjustments as needed to line up the holes. Finally, tighten the lock nut by turning it counterclockwise until it's tight against the upper collet. Before testing, make sure you set your safety stops. The lower one should be set so that it prevents the assemblies from making contact with one another. Slowly jog the actuator down until the tip of the upper anvil is about halfway between the tips of the lower anvils and the base plate. Move the safety stop up so that it will trip at this point. To remove the larger bottom flexure fixture assembly, use the 3 16 inch hex wrench to loosen the central screw. Remove the screw and lift the assembly off the system base. To remove the smaller bottom flexure fixture assembly, loosen the lock nut by unscrewing it in the counterclockwise direction so that it moves away from the lower collet. If the lock nut is very tight, you can use the lock nut tightening tool to help you unscrew it. Insert the tool into one of the holes on the lock nut and unscrew until the lock nut is flush against the bottom face of the grip. Next, remove the clevis pin from the collet. It may be helpful to lift up slightly on the assembly while pulling out the pin. Once the pin has been removed, you can lift the lower assembly out of the collet and put it aside. Insert the clevis pin back into the collet. These two parts should stay together. Finally, to remove the upper assembly of the flexure fixture, loosen the lock nut by unscrewing it in the clockwise direction so that it moves away from the upper collet. If the lock nut is very tight, you can use the lock nut tightening tool. Once the lock nut is loosened, hold on to the upper assembly and remove the clevis pin. Once the clevis pin is removed, you can remove the upper assembly and put it aside. Insert the clevis pin back into the collet.